Earnings season is next week. I'm just taking a deep <laughs> breath as I think about it now. Um, what do you think is going to happen? I mean, we've, the first half of the year has been great. So these are the second quarter numbers. Do you think that we're going to have a good season? Yeah, I think the theme here is pretty obvious, and that's that earnings are just going to continue to beat all year. Last quarter, you saw companies beat by 85 percent, Cheryl, um, and a margin of like close to 20 percent. So, you know, the one thing we've seen all year is analysts have to keep raising their projections because they've been so wrong. In fact, you know, my podcast half of the time is just making fun of Wall Street strategists <laughs> and how they never get it right. Um, if you look at just targets for the S&P this year, the average strategist on Wall Street has 4,200. Well, guess what? The s and is over 4,300 now. So, you know, what you've seen all year is Wall Street trying to catch up with the fact that earnings have been just phenomenal. Um, and there's no reason that's not going to stop throughout the rest of the year. So I think what you're seeing right now is you're seeing big momentum. Uh, earnings drive the stock market and earnings continue to get better than what's anticipated. We could see like $200 per share on the S&P by the end of the year. And to put that in perspective, that's 40 percent above where analysts thought that earnings were going to be at the beginning of the year. That's just so, that's just how much better companies have done this year, um, you know, respective of what actually Wall Street thought yeah. that companies could do from an earnings perspective. I'll so make it's you just, a deal. I'll make you a deal, Ryan. Every okay. time next week I start saying the company beating estimates, take a shot of coffee because it's too early to drink anything else. So it's a, it's a new <laughs> coffee drinking game, everybody. <laughs>